we were banned from hosting meetings on campus. We were banned from tabling events. We were banned from hosting speakers on campus. We were banned from meeting up with other orgs and collaborating. My name is KJ Lynham and I go to Emerson College. My name is Simon Nevis and I'm a student at Emerson College. Our college, Emerson, decided to recently suspend our group for passing out a sticker which criticized the Chinese government. It was a meme from the game Among Us where the point of the game is to spot the imposter. Kinda sus is a phrase used often in Among Us to identify the imposter or suspicious character. It has the symbol of the Chinese Communist Party in it, which should make it obvious it was referring to the Chinese government and not the Chinese people. We were giving out the stickers and then the next day in the morning the president released a statement calling us racist and said that we were going to be investigated. So right after passing out the stickers, we were suspended the next day without even contacting us first, without talking to us, without, without asking for explanation, he just did it. The criticism was anti-Asian hate and that we were being racist and targeting a group and causing a hostile environment on campus. Well, uh, our vice president is Asian herself. One third of all of our members were Asian many of them from China. So it's very weird for Emerson to call us anti-Asian when we're one of the most welcoming clubs at Emerson. So for me, this was a very strange situation being half Asian and living in Asia majority of my life. I was born in Singapore. I moved to, I've lived in the Philippines, Japan, and mainly travel in Asia where most of my family is. So to be called anti-Asian was very strange. Voicing one's criticism of a government, any government, is a time-honored right in America. It's absurd that an American college would punish students for condemning a totalitarian government like China's. Yeah, it was really hard when we got suspended, not only for our organization, but on a personal level as well. I got expelled from some other students' organizations I was a member of, including religious ones. I got ostracized from those organizations. We just experienced a lot of people like looking at us differently. KJ, she had a drink spilled on her. I got a drink spilled on me. To be honest, it's throughout this whole experience, I've wondered what percentage of people really just saw this as an opportunity to hop the bandwagon to get the one conservative group shut down on campus. The Foundation for Individual Rights in Education wrote to Emerson's interim president, William Gilligan, in support of Sam and KJ's right to distribute the stickers, noting that Emerson pledges to uphold its students' free speech rights and were violating their own policies by punishing the conservative student group. Fire didn't receive a reply to the letter. So after the investigation, the school found that we had not intended to target any group. After suspending KJ and Sam's group, Emerson eventually admitted that the sticker was merely critical of China's government, not its people. But the school nevertheless punished their group for, quote, bias-related behavior because, the school argued, the sticker could unintentionally contribute to anti-Asian discrimination. It's an absurd justification for censorship, one you might expect from the authoritarian government KJ and Sam sought to criticize, not an American college. And it begs the question, is criticizing the Chinese government now banned at Emerson? If you are an Emerson student, even if you hate us, even if you completely think that like our organization should not have the right to exist, you should be worried about this because all it takes is one accusation. If you get accused of anything, even if you're innocent, and even if the college admits you're innocent, you will still get punished anyway. This acceptance of shutting ideas down is very dangerous. I hope Emerson fulfills its promise of free speech because they promise free speech for every student. FIRE is working hard to restore KJ and Sam's right to expression, but we need your help. Follow their story and tell your friends. When this all started, we were just David against Goliath. It was just us, two random students against Emerson College, a multi-million dollar institution. And FIRE showed us that like we were not alone, they would help us and that we were not wrong.